So this project is uh, called Umbra. Uh, uh, my name is Rafael. I'm a postdoc research at University of Campinas in Brazil. And this project about, it's about uh, how we can run Hyperledger blockchain projects in an uh, emulated environment. Uh, it all started in 2018 when there was this internship project that uh, it was uh, idealized to run the shadow simulation tool that is mostly used by running uh, Bitcoin and uh, the Tor network. And uh, they saw that there were some issues with that because most of the libraries needed for the blockchain projects were not supported by shadow. So the project was basically stalled. And uh, in 2019, I contacted David Husby, the, the, the mentor of that project, and said, hey, I'm doing some tests here for a telco use case. I'd like to see how it scales. And I have this, uh, this platform called Mininet that is used for emulation in uh, uh, programmable networks. And I think it can scale to, to what you need. Uh, Mininet is a, uh, basically a framework of, a platform that is fast and simple to run programmable networks in a laptop. Uh, it was extended that it can run in uh, multiple servers uh, to run containers and even uh, abstractions of Wi-Fi. So my idea was, just, OK, since the Hyperledger projects provide uh, container images, as long as I support these container images, I can run them in, uh, in this environment. The only thing I needed is to create the, the configuration uh, to make it run and enable it. So the idea behind that design was that, OK, I can specify a configuration file that would say, hey, give me a, a something like a topology that I have some abstractions on, on it. This would generate an automated uh, config file with all the crypto material. And that is going to create a scenario of that network to which I could add smart contracts and so on, events that would run the smart contract and a broker that would uh, basically grab this scenario and uh, instantiate it and play all these events and the topology that is there. Uh, and everything is going to be logged in and uh, later used for analysis. So this was in the mind. This was set up as the main goals of the, the initial project, this, this internship project. So the, basically, the build this reference architecture, evaluate uh, this architecture against the, the, the Fabric project, build some stimulus, for example, interacting with the Fabric uh, network, monitor it, the containers and the links, uh, create some dynamics of the network, like uh, add, uh, adding and removing links, uh, shutting down and getting back uh, nodes to, into the network. And at the end of the, the, the emulation experiment, that would be, build an analysis report that would uh, uh, give what happened in the post-mortem report. So, and this would be extended to their Hyperledger projects and in the end also be documented. So all of this was achieved, uh, yet uh, the only thing uh, that's missing is uh, I could uh, reproduce multiple other uh, blockchain projects in it. This is yet to finish. Uh, for example, I'm uh, still coding the IROHA plugin for, for this. I'm going to tell you how, how it works. Uh, here's the basic architecture of this uh, Umbra. So what it happens basically is there's a design API, this blue component, the, that defines some APIs that uh, abstract what would be a configuration file for that. So a user. Uh, grabs these APIs, compose a scenario that is basically a set of topology and events, and uh, runs this scenario using this uh, other component called Umbra Broker, the green one. The Umbra Broker interacts with the other topology, or with the other component uh, called Umbra Scenario, that deploys the topology, uh, the, the actual infrastructure topology, basically the containers with the the, the blockchain nodes and the links interconnecting them. Uh, and the Umbra broker then realizes the events in this, uh, this, this topology. For example, calling the chain codes to be invoked, deployed, and, and so on. So uh, basically talking about the, the, each one of these components in the Umbra design, uh, there are APIs for multiple blockchain projects like that create multiple blockchain topologies in a different uh, 
aspects. I mean, different nodes interconnected with different abstractions. Uh, these nodes can have uh, restrictions of uh, CPU memory and disk, and uh, also the links can have restrictions of bandwidth delay and packet loss. Uh, so in the end, when you call these uh, APIs to build the scenario, they're going to generate all the, the material needed to run that scenario. For example, in the case of uh, Fabric, would be all the crypto keys, the certificates, all the environment, uh, environmental variables uh, uh, in a single uh, folder. This material generated by this uh, Umbra design uh, is going to be uh, placed in the Umbra, Umbra broker. That is basically the main component that is going to consume this scenario configuration, topology and events. And this uh, component is going to request the topology deployment into the other component, Umbra scenario, that uh, instantiates the topology and later on acknowledging that uh, topology uh, the, the Umber Docker uh, broker basically interacts with the, the Hyperledger uh, blockchain, basically interacts with the infrastructure and also the, the blockchain components. So for example, using SDKs, it can interact with each one of the nodes running the, the, in the blockchain. Uh, and this, this is all takes place in a plugin-oriented manner. Uh, it means that a different blockchain SDKs and uh, can be added to this, this, this component. So the, 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 basically the architecture is fully modular. And this is the Umbra scenario. This is the one that uh, makes use of this uh, mini net, or here called container net API, that actually instantiate the containers and the links to interconnect them and configure them with the restrictions of uh, CPU memory and uh, bandwidth packet loss and so on. And ideally, this component can span across multiple hosts. This is actually the, the scaling test that I'm testing now, that uh, to make it run across different uh, servers, so to scale to hundreds and thousands of nodes. Um, and the uh, example that was coded in this project uh, to showcase it, that it's part of the demo, is that uh, uh, I got the Fabric project in uh, version 1.4. I, I saw the, the main documentation of it and uh, got all the containers, said, saw the, rest uh, the, the, the requirements to run them, uh, created all this abstraction of this uh, class called uh, Fabric Topology that uh, adds peers, orgs, and uh, order to, to it. And it calls all, all of these uh, uh, binary to, to generate the crypto material needed for each one of these containers. Uh, fills all of these, these Docker uh, containers, descriptors with all the, the proper paths, volumes, environmental variables, and port mappings. This is all done transparently to the user, to the tester, generating all these config files. Finally, it generates just one single config file that references all of this configuration that is uh, used by this broker component that loads this scenario uh, and instantiates it using the, the scenario component uh, and triggers these fabric events. And these fabric events is basically all the events that are uh, uh, offered by the, the fabric Python SDK to interact with uh, the nodes, the CAs, and the, uh, the order. So this was run successfully uh, in, in a laptop easily um, basically, in, in a hypothetical way, if you like to say, hey, I'd like to test a new contract in a lossy network with a particular graph abstraction, I mean, if your network is like a star or a different kind of interconnected uh, device, you can build your, this network uh, by hand, specifying like just a single config file. It's just a simple API like add node add link from this node to this node, and so on. Uh, there are different types of abstractions that I'm planning to, to implement here, like just create a, a network with five orgs and three nodes per org, and, and with a simple profile of CPU, memory, and, and disk, and so on. Uh, if you'd like to run a specific topology graph for that, uh, I mean, you'd like to see like how it scales to multiple servers, and these servers you can 
place here, how the interconnection of these containers happens inside the servers and also outside the servers. And there's also the, the, the possibility to monitor all of these, these features in the, in the components in the runtime, like the, the type, the number of the lay of the messages in a consensus algorithm, for example. And in this way, if you think uh, what this project actually enables is, I mean, besides of being a generic platform for multiple uh, hyperledger blockchains, uh, what uh, David Hughesby, the, like the mentor of this project, was talking to me initially is like, okay, we now have some manners to make some reproducible academic work on these blockchain projects. So we have ways to define comparable methodologies for consensus, for gossipy protocols, and even for security mechanisms. Um, the idea now is that uh, we would like to test this at scale. So initially, when they talked to me and they say, hey, okay, this runs now, let's put this in a, uh, in a cloud and make it run in hundreds and thousands of containers and see how it works, how it behaves. And this is the task now. And, uh, and after that, we see that, okay, it works, we monitor everything, everything is uh, working fine. We are going to make some empirical computer science research experiments. Basically, we are going to say, hey, if you're adding a new feature to this uh, blockchain project, we have a perfect environment here for you to test with like a few lines of code. And that's all. And uh, the code, uh, first uh, acknowledging that Dave Hughesby is the, the mentor and the idealist of, the, of, of this project. I also acknowledge the, the internship community. This is a part of the internship last year. And the code is fully available. In the, in the on GitHub, this is a part of a project, part of Hyperledger Labs. Uh, this is just, a, let's say, a newborn project. So there's still a lot of uh, source code to be optimized here. Uh, the documentation, the basic documentation, just to understand the, the architecture, the components, and uh, how they interact, the architecture view, flow view, directory structure. It's fully placed in the, this read the docs uh, files. And uh, I hope you enjoy this project and I'm, I'm looking for ideas on how we can uh, explore this project uh, from now on. Thank you. Any yeah, sure. Now, now I'm doing this because I'm a maintainer, but there's a new project posted in the internship uh, this year that uh, David posted. And this project actually addressed the scalability of this, this project, how you can extend it to the scalability trials. But I, I'm keeping, uh, I'll keep, uh, my idea initially was to measure the scalability in a telecom use case that I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually part of a networking field. So I was playing with that into the telecom use case. I grabbed this as an opportunity, implemented it, saw it, how it realizes. Uh, there's still, still monitoring features in the Umbra that I did not push yet to the mainstream code, but uh, it will be pushed soon. And the idea of me is to, okay, if you give me a use case, this platform should give you the footprint of that use case in different manners. That's the, my view. And I'm, I'm pushing that code on, online. Thank you, guys. <laughs>